got all this money, like you are alleging, why are you constantly asking other people for money? Why? The math is not mathing. But this is what she is saying in this message. Uh, I got the message. I'm going to put it up here. You know, she states that she uh, had him recorded as well. She uh, let Melody hear the message. <clears throat> I don't really believe that. Um, I believe she's just saying that. Now, I don't know why she's throwing mail into the, the whole thing again. Because, Kiki, I need, I need for you to take some accountability here. Real talk. Real talk. Because whether you want to call him a liar or whatever... It was you on that recording. It was you sending those text messages. It was you asked for the hundred dollars. It was all you. It was you and your mother going to different content creators. Let's be for real now here. And I know a lot of people don't like to accept the truth when they like someone they they act like they can't see. They put the blinders on. But I don't have a dog in this fight. And I don't dislike Kiki at all. I empathize with her. And I wish her nothing but the best. And I hope she can get herself together. Because she is spiraling at this point. This message that she have left. Allegedly was ridiculous. Going off and cursing and all that. And if you feel like you're not guilty, and like you said in this message, that uh people is laughing at him, he's wasting people's time and all that. And if you really believe that deep down in your heart, why are you even addressing it? Cause cause he's a clown, right? Cause he's a nobody, right? So why address it? We're not gonna pretend. Kiki, if that was you that sent that message, that you're not bothered. When someone is 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 unbothered, they don't they don't even have to respond to this. You have been responded from day one. You have been saying you haven't told no content creator stuff since day one, and you have Kiki, and you know you have. You have been putting it on your children, bringing God into the mix of it, and 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 you know you have. I've been told you all a long time ago here on Who Knew on my platform before Anthony said anything that Kiki had been lying about things. I had been said that. People wanted to argue with me and, and, and didn't want to believe it. But the truth is the truth. And the lie don't care who tell it. And I'm sorry if you guys don't want to hear it. I'm sorry. But I'm putting it out there because I know firsthand. And it's so crazy that you want to battle with people, Kiki, and, 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 and swear up and down that you haven't told nobody nothing and all of that. And you know you have. Then you want to get mad about it when people come out and, and, and call you to the carpet. Now you mad. Now you big mad. And we both know I could have called you to the carpet. But but it's just not worth it for me. That's that's when somebody is really unbothered by the lies and stuff you tell. They don't even have to respond to it. I just know how you are and I just move on from it. That's it. I don't know you personally, but I know what you've done. I know I know what you have presented on this show. I've talked to you personally over the phone. Yeah, that happened. And rather you try to say that, oh, I was telling different content creators stuff to get a response and see who I can trust. Do you know how ridiculous that sounds? You sound just like Ariane Curry. When she sat up there and said she was telling the original straight no chaser uh, different information uh, and she was just trying to string her along or whatever the words she used. Come on, y'all gonna have to do better than that.
And for the people that believe this stupid ass, lying ass, gaslighting bullshit that they're trying to put out to the public when they get caught in their lies, then, then you guys are slow. And I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. But when the math is mathing, we need to accept it. Because we sure can accept when it ain't mathing. So when it is math, then let's accept that too. And guys, this is just my opinion. You ain't got to like it. You ain't even got to agree with it. But I'm telling you something facts. I'm telling you something from my own experience that I've been told y'all that truths were not being told. And like I said, I, I was I, I was truly unbothered by it. So every time she got up there and said, oh, I, I, I didn't tell anyone anything. Never, 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 never. I just laughed at it because I knew the truth. You know, and I left it at that. It's not that deep for me. And I use this as an example because. Kiki, if you was not bothered by what Anthony was putting out, just like I wasn't bothered with you going on your platform constantly saying, oh, uh, I never, never, never did this. And I know you did. I, I, I wasn't bothered. So I didn't try to challenge and, and, and go back and forth with you because I don't give a fuck. If you want to put untruths on, on, on your kid's head and on God, that's on you. You you have to uh uh stand in front of God on judgment day and deal with that. Not me. Not me. You know, and I think it's very unfortunate because I know how bad you wanted to be on that show. And I also told you, pave your own lane. But you failed miserably at doing that. You did. But it is what it is. And like I said before, I wish you nothing but the best. And I told you that in the DM. I wish you nothing but the best. But accept accountability for what you've done. Don't try to just keep saying or making like it was your mother. It was you as well. It was. But you know what? If that's what you want to roll with, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not here to convince nobody because I know what the truth is. You know, I know a lot of people wanted to go on and say, oh, um, he didn't prove anything. Those receipts didn't mean anything. That's why people don't want to come out and, 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 and tell y'all nothing. Show y'all the receipts. Because even when you got the receipts, you want to put the blindfolds on anyway. So, so why even say stuff to people that want to be delusional? You know, it, it doesn't make sense. So I'll just keep my truth to myself and let everybody find out the hard way. I know y'all heard that old saying, you find a dummy bump their head. Yeah, that's an old saying. And if people know that they can pull the wool over your face just by telling you something they know you want to hear, they're going to do it every time. They're going to do it every time and it ain't got to be true. Like I said, a lie don't care. It don't care who tells it. It's just so ironic to me for anyone to continue to say what they haven't did and swear on God and all of that. And you know, you've done this. You know, you've done these things. You know, you've said these things. It's it's crazy to me and it's mind blowing. And guys, this is just my opinion, you know. And I I'm speaking from different little things that I have witnessed, I have been involved with and I'm not even I I'm not even finna go there. And go down the list of what was said on what day, what was done on this day, all of that. Because like I said, it ain't that deep for me. It's not. 
Because I don't have nothing against this woman. You know, we DM'd not too long ago. And I told her what was sent to me about her husband. She got up there on that live and she said how they live together, showing his clothes and all that. That don't mean nothing when you know other things are going on behind the scenes. But you know what? It it That ain't my fight to fight. You know, I left it alone because I, I don't know all the ins and outs of their story. I don't. And I don't care to know. So I'm just going to leave that right there. But if you know you got all of these skeletons, why are you digging in someone else's closet? You should be trying to clean your own closet up, straighten your own closet up. You shouldn't be worried about if your cousin got, 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 got skeletons in her closet or nobody else. That's so crazy to me. And a lot of people do that in this world. They do. They do. They worry about other people's backyard being filthy. And theirs is nasty, trifling, filthy, and all of the above. That's that's crazy to me. It, 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 these people on this show, these ain't the, the only people that do stuff like this. I see it on a day-to-day -day basis. I just laugh at these people and shake my head. Because I don't have to just constantly make a fool out of people and point out their flaws to them. Maybe one day they, they'll they get it and maybe they won't. But I am not the judge, the jury, nor the convictor. I don't have to fool with you no more. And that's how I do, people. I just don't fool with you no more. I ain't got to drag you through the mud. I ain't got to do none of that because you know what you've done. And I'll let you battle that all by yourself. I'm not going to go back and forth with you for what? You know what you've done. You know it. Even if you're trying to convince other people that, that you ain't did it. You know it. So I'm going to leave that right there, y'all. And um, I know y'all can hear it in my voice. I know y'all can tell by the things that I have said. Um... I'm, I, 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 I am a witness that this woman has not been honest. I'm just going to put it out there just like that. And like I said, anybody that want to say whatever in my comments, I don't care because I know I'm telling the truth. I have witnesses that, that can state that I'm telling the truth about what has transpired. But I'm not good. Like I said, I'm not going to go all into details because I just don't give a fuck. I don't care that much about these people. I really don't care about them at all. This is a TV show. But all I'm saying is. If you feel like he's a nobody, like you say it. And that these were all lies and he's wasting people time and nobody believes you. Everybody clowning you. Uh, all of these things, why address it? Why address it? You should be unbothered. No need to get out of your character and call them all kind of bees and, 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 and suck 10 Ds and all of that. There's no need for all that because you unbothered, right? Right? So anywho, guys, that's my take on it. Um, I do feel like he uh, had receipts. Um, rather, people felt like it should have been uh, more than that or not. To me, the bottom line was to prove that she was telling him different stories. She was telling the storylines. That was the bottom line. That was what he was trying to prove from, from what where I'm standing. And it was proven. Now, whether or not you want to see it that way, that's on you. But he didn't know about the drink being thrown in Tisha's face until she sent those text messages. He showed the text messages. And that was way before the, that the episode even came out. That was a receipt. That was proven. But again, she proceeded to say, how she haven't told no content creators nothing. 
So I I don't know who who who's laughing. The joke's on you, baby girl. You know, and if the if, if the people is laughing at him and he got actual receipts to prove that you were the liar and you're calling him a liar, that's insane. That's gaslighting at its finest. But anywho, you know, I, I'm I'm going to leave that right there because, like I said, I don't have a dog in this fight. But I'm going to give my take on it. I'm going to give my opinion on it because I am a content creator. And I told my people that I would come out and let you guys know how I felt and where I stood and how I seen this whole thing. And that's where I that's where I'm at with it. And as far as talking, uh. You know, about Melody and Melody asking her to put this story out on her child about her child is not her husband's and all of that. I don't know if she brought that to her or Melody asked her to do it. I don't know. I don't know. But you were on tape stating these things. So it was one way or the other. I don't know. But for you to even be discussing that with someone else, you was foul for that. You should, even if you and Melody discuss that between each other, why go outside of the two of you and repeat it? So I'm going to leave that right there, you know? So anyway, guys, let me know what y'all think about this in these comments. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. Um, all I can say is, guys, you know, you have to forgive others, you know, for you, not for them. So with that being said, you know, just everybody, just let it go. If you can't coexist with somebody just keep it moving. I know when I can't coexist with somebody and I ain't got to hate you, I ain't got to not like you. I know what you've done and I'm going to move on from there. That's how I do things. I ain't got to bust you out. I ain't got to say what you did from A to Z. You know what you did. I don't have no problem with letting it be known that you lied. You know you did. But I ain't got to I ain't got to put a thumb on every lie you told me the but if you want me to, that's not a problem neither. But am I going to go back and forth with you? I just don't care that much to do that. I don't. I don't know you personally. And what I got to know, it wasn't good. So let's just keep that right there and move the fuck on. And I think if more people looked at it like that, this would be a better place to be. So guys, um... I don't know. I just think that everybody need to uh, tread lightly, proceed with caution when it comes to telling people things. Real talk. Wonderful night. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Deuces. I want to know that because your child is eventually going to see that. To do if you and Amin was to come on that show. That's about your child. Mm hmm and I'm like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, you don't want nobody sitting up here talking about sugar mama and your kids just in general. But how do you have the audacity to sit up here and ask somebody to bring something about their family that could be extremely detrimental to their child? Baby, you spiraling like the Tasmanian devil over there. How would I even know anything about the information? How would I even know that Miss Buddy even wanted to ask you? How would I even know that Miss Buddy asked you to bring that situation on the show?